Jim, uh, here we are, first Saturday after the end of the season. Thanks very much for, for joining us. Uh, when we last caught up, we'd done two thirds of the season. The first third, we said, was a storm, and the second third was, was disappointing. You were looking forward to the, to the final third. Mm -hmm. uh, just, just sum up what, what, you, what you found in the final third, really. What, how, how did you I think find the, it? Uh, the final third was, was very uh, hit and miss. I think the injuries took, took the toll on us, but you know, we've done the hard work and the respect that we had the points on the board. Not, that's not to say that we didn't want to kick on, because of course we wanted to. But I think injuries hit us hard, you know, missing the likes of Stewie and uh, Nick Fenton, Kevin Ellison, Flemo, Lawrence Wilson, you know, Reedy missed the game at uh, Rotherham, Willian and come off in the last game. We have been hit quite hard to more so key players, you know, you're more experienced lads as well. Yeah. Uh, not to use that as an excuse because what it did do, it gave us a chance to bed in the uh, younger lads who we brought in with, you know, a bright future. You know, the likes of Jordan and Jack who we brought to the club. Um, you know, as the future, you know, one or two of the younger lads as well with McGee, Parkinson, uh, Masuah Ali getting a game uh, or a good match time here and there. So it, it gives us a chance to do that. But overall, uh, results wise, I'm, I was disappointed. Um, but there was good signs there, which hopefully will stand us in good stead for, for next season. But uh, as I say, the pressure was a little bit more off. You know, I would have, yeah. would have been struggling if we didn't get those points on the board before we got our, in, our injuries. I mean, you, you see with Macclesfield going down, uh, they had big injuries at the start of the season, which caused them to, to get where they are, and they, and they got stuck in there for one reason or another, and by the time the, the, the big players did come back, it was too late for them, so I've got to be thankful in that respect, but it certainly gives us a chance to uh, to give other lads you know, first team experience, which, as I say, will stand them in good stead and hopefully give us a better picture going into next season. Yeah, and none of them disgraced themselves either, did they? I mean, it's, 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 you know, if we turn it into a positive, really, you know, it gave you a real good opportunity to see what they were made of. Yeah. And, uh, and they all stepped up to the mark. Definitely, the yeah. I think they're good players, um, you know, got bright futures. I mean, for instance, Jordan coming into the club, 19 years of age, more so was a bit of a project for us, mm. um, you know, thinking he could be one for the future. Yeah. For one reason or another, he got in, which you know had a factor in Jason Price leaving the club. You know, he's coming to the end of his career. He had an opportunity to go and get a club somewhere else and get his qualifications what he needed. And Jordan stepped into his boots, and you know, the lad went and scored four and five games. I think yeah. he did at one yeah. stage. So, you know. Uh, and a young lad like that, hopefully he'll continue that next season. And obviously Jack's coming. Uh, you know, not used to the full time football. Uh, well, certainly for the few few uh, seasons. So he's slowly but surely getting better. You know, got one or two goals, showing good signs. And as we say, the lads we brought through the academy and they've all done okay. Yeah, I'm pleased. Well, one, one thing that's been really noticeable this season, I think, is the positivity. You know, I think that's been the difference. And, and everybody brought in has been really positive and, and up for the challenge. So I think that that does always make a difference. It really does. So overall, then, how would you sum up your first season in charge? Your first as a as a football league manager, you know, at a very special club. Uh, how would how would you sum up? What would you? Um, well, I've been pleased in some respects and disappointed in others. Um, I think if you would have said to me this stage last season, coming into a club that flirted with relegation all season. Um, you know, I I hadn't been a manager. We were second favourites to go down. People mm. were saying I, I wouldn't have a chance um, to be where we were. I, I, I'd snap your hand off. You know, and what we did do, we we had to cut the cloth a little bit, and uh, we brought the numbers down in the squad. Um, but as you say, the players we brought we brought in, you know, we've all added something different. They've all been, you know, good uh, additions to the squad. The players that were already here, you know, stepped up to the place a little bit more and yeah. did uh, we had to change mentality and the attitude and they've all done it, you know, fair play to them all I said at the end of the season do, I couldn't wish for a better group of lads. Yeah. We had no problems. You get little bits and pieces and little fallouts here and there, but that's gonna happen when you put thirty fellas together. But on the whole I think um, you know, as I say, the lads who come in done well, the lads who were already here, you know, went to the next level mm. with regards to professionalism and attitude. And uh, just try to keep everyone positive, and that's what we've done. It's been pretty hard, you know, going through certain spells and certain the home form, but you know, we've had to stay strong throughout and uh, stick together, which we have done. And you know, we got the points on the board that we needed to uh, to hopefully build them. Absolutely, and I think everybody just snapped your hand off where we finished at the beginning of the season. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's a job well done. 
you know, I've seen in other interviews where you're giving yourself six out of ten or something like that, which I think is really harsh on yourself. <laughs> you know, but that's that's the way you are, I suppose. What 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 have you learned this this season? What are the two key things that you've you've learned, and what would you do differently if you had your time again? Uh, I wouldn't do anything differently. I think um, I think everything it happens for a reason, mm. you know, and, and that's the only reason you do learn. I analyse every performance, not just by the players, but myself and Ken. Mm. What could we change? Did they do the right substitutions? I've made one or two mistakes in bouncing. You know, uh, one of them was I always go back to Bradford. I was thinking of putting Kane and Chiarac on right at the end, you know, just to kill a bit of bit of time. Put an extra body in the middle of the in the middle of the box, you know, when we were under large spells of pressure. And as it was, we never knew when and got a last minute goal, you know, from right in the middle of the box. So just little things, you know, we could have killed momentum on that particular moment. So you're not gonna get everything right. It has been decisions made and some right, some wrong, but everything happens for the reason. I'm a big believer of that. What have I learned? Um I've learned just to be myself, be honest, hard working. Um I've learned that the job is a tough one. It's very stressful, it's not just here and you know, you take your phone home with you. you know, I'll be on my iPad till silly o'clock in, in the morning just looking at things and trying to do homework. And it's not football league manager you're playing, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. I wish it was, it'd be a lot more easier. But, you know, travelling around, it, it's a tough job. Um, I'm learning all the time. You know, every day something will happen. Mm. You know, something will come up. You don't just. You don't just. You're not just a football league manager. You become like a agony ant or. Yeah. You know, there's all sorts to deal with, all right across the board, from training facilities to managing the players away from football, managing the football organisation, pick up points, coach times. There's so much to, to get on with, so it is a tough job, but yeah. I'm learning all the time and it's gone well so far. Yeah, I agree, and I agree, and, and, and we give you 9 out of 10, so I think you've been really harsh on yourself at 6. Well, I'm always expecting more, always yeah. want more. I did do as a player, always want more as a manager as well. We are where we are for a reason this season, um, but I want more next season, I'm determined to, to make it better. Well, we are at the end of the season, and uh, as always at the end of the season, uh, some players leave and some players come in. Uh, you know, and you've had to make some tough decisions. Uh, we're letting some some players go, mm. uh, and you've you've obviously got targets for players you want to bring in. You know, talk us through that a little bit. Well, that's it. I mean, we are a that squad. We've seen with the injuries, um, we were going with a small squad. We did run the risk of getting a few injuries, but well, this is hit us hard, which it has done. Uh, I have got targets. I've had targets from, you know, minute one really. Mm. Um, it's the way football is, but um, we've got to we've got to live within the means. You know, what's right by the football club financially, uh, whether we can get the targets that we want, or we'll have to look elsewhere. You know, that will be happening over the coming weeks, um, and we'll see where we go from there. But certainly, you know, it's it's the hardest hardest day of my managerial career so far is getting certain individuals in to say that they're not you know they're, they're not going to be kept you know uh, I think Gary Hunt uh, really hurt me to be fair he's a, he's a ex teammate of mine you know always got on well with him think he's got something to offer um, but as I say you know with the way it is and the people I need to bring in I mean at the moment we've got four four defenders at the club you know I've got to get people in areas to make sure that we're stable for next season Unfortunately, you know, if Gary Hunt is out of out of contract, but that that did hurt me a bit because I do I've got utmost respect for the lad and there. I'm disappointed, but as I say, it's it we've got to do. If I had, if I had all the, if I had a go with a squad of 22 and finances were a problem, you know, we'd be here all day long. But I can't do it, so no. that's the way it is. It's football. It's hard. It's short. It's hard for Gary. It's been hard for me. Uh, but they, these are decisions that need making because I've got to bring people in. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's not easy. You know, we understand that. Mm. What about the number five shirt next season? Well, at the moment, I'm signed on as a player. I don't think I'll be playing again. But uh, interesting question. Um, I'm open to. Well, my testimonial game will be in in July and uh, August, hopefully one or the other, and uh, we'll see what happens. Whether I get a little five minute run out, I don't know. But that will probably be the end of me as a as a player, and then. Uh, as it is, my contract is a player manager contract for two years and one year into that. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what's what, but that doesn't bother me. It's just, why do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more for freeze actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then, uh, you know, just, just wrapping up really, what, what can we look forward to next season then? 
Uh, well, we'll have a fit, determined group again, whatever we go with. Um, we will do all we can in pre-season to make sure that we get off to the similar start what we did do this season. Um, you know, I'm a big believer of footballers should work 50 weeks of the year. I don't mm. mind two weeks off for the holiday, but they've been set plans and things to do away from the from the ground over these next uh, two months. They'll have a couple of weeks off and then they'll be in for five days. Then they'll have another couple of weeks off, they'll be in for five days again. So, you know, we really keep on top with Sam and Farmworth and Dan Baird so to make right. sure that they're uh, up and running because I don't like switching down for eight weeks and then coming back and having to start from scratch. Well, that's really interesting that because, you know, you, you, we've kept in touch with some uh, former players that have gone on to, you know, in inverted commas, bigger and better things with other clubs. And yeah. you read on the Facebook, you know, looking forward to 10 weeks off, yeah. you know, can't wait. And you think, wow, that's... No, I, I believe it. The rest is as important as training, you know, recovery. And the lads have had a long, hard season. Yeah. But, you know, you're fully recovered. After, well, I know myself as a player. I mean, I was the same. I got eight weeks off, ten weeks off, whatever it be. In this day and age, players do take it upon themselves and do the odd little run here and there or a bit of swimming on all day, whatever it may be. But uh, we've set the lads, you know, uh, certain individuals have got plans to take away and carry out. They've all got our eight monitors now. We do the body fats and the weights and things like that before they go and we continue to do that, you know, through the close season, through pre-season to make sure that everyone's... Uh, prim and proper ready to go but certainly for the five days that they'll come in you know they'll do specific stuff uh, which will get them in better shape come July the 3rd when we're officially due back yeah. uh, because as I say I've done it myself I've seen it over the years where people have eight weeks off they go on a couple of holidays one with the lads one with the family yeah. they come back and they're at July the 3rd they've got to start from scratch and work off for the first couple of weeks what they put on so I like you know to keep them you know, right, tip top. Oh, that's uh, good. And that's what we'll do. Points in the bank, that. Yeah, hopefully. That's what Have we got any friends lined up, Jim? There's one or two so far. I don't know. You'd have to ask Mr. Marsden whether it's, uh, I'm allowed to say them. Right, um, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think, well, we were planning on going to Scotland, but again, finances dictate we, we won't be able to do that. Uh, so we're looking at other avenues at the moment, what we can do just to get the lads, you know, because pre season is tough, you know, morning, yeah. afternoon, same venue. Uh, everything else that goes with pre-season is the toughest part of the season so we're looking at different bits and pieces what we can do to make sure that we can try and get the lads away even with one two nights you know even if it was in Lancaster or whatever we don't we don't care as long as it's a yeah. different venue we can stay in the tennis field we've got the ground we can go to the university we've got the college so we can go around different areas but uh, I do I'm a big believer again of certainly last season Scotland was worth its weight in gold. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But we'll we'll see. There are there's there's pre seasons uh, you know, sorted at the moment. You know, the game the first game would have been in Scotland if we would have went like we did with Ray Rovers last year. So mm. with that not happening now, we've penciled in our first game at altering them away. Right, okay. And there apart from that, which will be on the Tuesday the seventeenth I think it is. Okay. So I don't really want to go into too much because I'm sure no, Mr. No, no. Mars will slap me this yeah, yeah. before it comes out officially. That's but there are some decent games penciled in. I think, um, I think Barrow have put on their uh, <laughs> yeah, the internet that we're playing them. So well, there's another one. So <laughs> two down, five to go. There you go. <laughs> but there's Jim, some good, uh, some good clubs. Oh, you know, at home. Oh, uh, some bigger clubs. Well, we we'll look forward to that. Listen, on, on behalf of uh, the, the Morecambe player team, thanks very much. Uh, everything for this season because it has been fantastic mm. uh, and I know that everybody who's watched these videos has really appreciated it so thanks for that on behalf of all the fans thanks for a, a, a great season it's mm -hmm. a great first season uh, and we look forward to next season no no problem whatsoever always enjoyed your time your company and anything you need from me just ask cheers Jim no problem